hey everyone welcome back to another episode of my channel so um just as the title of the video suggests i want to go and straighten my hair so right now um my hair is damp inside this scarf um i washed my hair deep conditioned it and then i used my protein treatment from mikala and so that's it yeah so i want to go to the salon after three years <laughs> of you know the, okay, short, the last time I straightened my hair was in 2015, I think around 18th of December and I haven't, straighten, I haven't straightened my hair since then so I want to go and do so right now because yeah, I just want to, it's been so long, so long so I'm going to go to the salon and take you guys with me and I hope to get enough footage to show you guys the whole process and one more thing, I haven't used um, a heat protector because I don't have one and I doubt if the salon has one anyways so yeah that's it that, that's pretty much it and pray to god cross my fingers I don't get heat damage and yeah that's it in fact the last time I straightened my hair in 2015 I didn't use a heat protectant either and I didn't get heat damage so yeah I'm just crossing my fingers hoping all will go well and then yeah we'll, go, we'll know what will happen next so yeah Oh yeah, and let me just show you my hair. So my hair looks like this as of now. I used, I actually detangled my hair using a comb. Yes, I know in my previous videos, I used to say that it's good to detangle your hair using your fingers. But the reason why I used a comb is because I know I'm going to blow dry my hair and they're going to use a comb to do so. So to make the process easier and to reduce the amount of pain, let me just detangle it with my comb. Yeah, so I detangled my hair using a comb and my hair had um, conditioner and the protein treatment as well. So it just gave my hair a good sleep when I was detangling it. So it wasn't that bad, but it was painful because Janet, I detangled it and afterwards I got some serious headache in Misha too around right now. So yeah, things we do for natural hair love <laughs> yeah so that's it so my hair is in this chunky mini braids because it's like with more and then I get tangles again so yeah that's it that's it so it's still damp and I want them to work on it when it's like this so yeah ciao
so guys i'm back i'm from the salon and i tried to film some places so i hope it will be like just a feel of what went down in the salon that's not it funny but anyway just my experience in the salon so first of all i'm so grateful like i'm grateful for myself for detangling my hair because yes i felt the pain but i knew the detangling process before helped me during the process of blow drying my hair and then another thing is what the heat like i told you guys the last time i blow dried my hair was in 2015 so my hair that i mess out the feeling of how it feels if that's the right english to blow dry my hair yeah so i'm done and the heat was so much back i was honestly people look on my white shirt and i was sweating inside honestly i was it was so much but it was okay like i don't regret a thing it's fine and I want to believe in any heat damage. I don't know why class when I shouldn't feel you too. And actually, see, I just wanted to straighten my hair for any, for nothing. Like there's a hairstyle that I want to achieve, and I knew that blow drying my hair would help me in that hairstyle, which I'll talk about in another video after you guys have watched this video. But yeah, generally that was okay. Like I'm happy about it. And this is how my hair is as of now. I like the ponytail. Yeah, I really do. And uh, I'll also insert photos of. I've taken a couple of photos, so I'll insert it in this video as well. And the whole process cost me 100. Yeah, they charged me 150 shillings because I already washed my hair, conditioned. I did everything else at home. So all they had to do was just go straight ahead and blow dry my hair, and that's it. So it's 150 shillings, and that's one. I guess 1.5 dollars only. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm happy about it, but I know I won't have it for so long. So you, I think sometimes I get paranoid about having my hair out. Yeah, I get paranoid. So I'm, like I told you guys, I wasn't blowing my hair for nothing. Like there's a hairstyle that I want to achieve, and I knew I had to straighten my hair for that reason. Yeah, so that's it. I hope this video is helpful. Was it? I hope. I hope it was helpful. I hope. Um, you guys liked it so don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share the video comment down below tell me do you guys blow dry your hair do you straighten it and how do you do it what products do you use do you use prior to going to straightening your hair and that's it so up until the next video bye bye